welcome back to the workshop. So in today's video we're going to calibrate this Shimitsu Prover XL6050 Plus from Sainsmart. So generally this CNC router runs on GRBL or Gerbil software and G-Card. Uh, I am using UGS which stands for Universal G-Code Sender. So I'm going to show you the simple apparatus then that you can use or set up that you can use to calibrate your CNC machine. So all you really need is some painter's tape actually uh, set at right angles on your table uh, and I've marked off accurately 200 millimeters from line to line uh, in the, the X and from this line back here to this line 200 millimeters so we can check the X and the Y travel for accuracy and we can alter that in the UGS profile. It's also handy to have a, a a vernier gauge too uh, and it is very necessary to have a very pointy tool it just makes life a little easier for you okay so the first thing you want to do is go and have a look at the settings within your UGS profile so you come here to the control tab and you come down here to this bottom line and all you do is put the sign for dollar dollar and press enter. Uh, let's expand this a little. Okay. So this is what we're interested in here and moreover the ones we're really interested in and the ones that we need to adjust are the 100, 101 and 102 which these actually give the resolution or the steps per millimeter of your axes. Now this will alter from machine to machine uh, and this figure is just not quite right for ours where over a 50 millimeter distance uh, we appear to be one millimeter out um, so we need to alter this figure here probably in the three of them so what I'm going to do first so we don't lose uh, these standard settings is come all the way up to here and copy everything just as normal copy then we're going to come down to uh, let me see wood pad that'll do and we'll come down a couple of and paste so we have a permanent record and we'll save as to let me see download I normally save it to the desktop then sort it out afterwards uh, so this is going to be uh, let me see capitals UGS and it's for the 6050 CNC so we will save that to the desktop and now we'll have a permanent record of what you know the, the readings were originally because you know we may muck something up so we're not going to do anything else with this at the moment well, so we're going to come back out to here and 
the first job we're going to do now is to hum the machine. Now we do that just by coming up here to the little house and press hum. <laughs> Right, so I've just set the distance per pulse or per, per, or per, per press of the uh, mouse key for the X and the Y to 200 millimeters. So it should move exactly oh, somewhere near 200 millimeters. We'll find out how far it's out. So here we go. Okay, I'll zoom in a bit to that so you can see. So, uh, let's see how many millimetres that is out. That looks like it's two millimetres out. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more light on this, I think. <laughs> 